Welcome to Bobtown. Uh, this is part two of the solar panel project. I, I got the second solar panel rack in. Uh, I got nine panels on it, but as you can see, I had to rack it a little bit. So each panel on the end has only got three screws in it. Uh, but I got nine panels. But after I got the nine panels on there, I started doing more research and figured out that you can only put two panels. Uh, in series together for 24 volts when you use the uh, QO breaker box. They're only like 48 volts DC, which would be pushing the limit when you hook up three of these together. Because right now I've got them set up for 24 volts, you know, two in series, and you, I get more than 33 volts going in to my charge controller. Uh, sometimes so that would definitely be pushing a limit over 48 volts if you try to string three of these together in series so anyway there's a combiner box up there uh, for that panel and here's a combiner box for panel A uh, you can see how I did it the um, negatives from four of the panels go here and those positives go to the middle and then uh, the negatives from the other four go to the middle and the positives go off here to the right so there's the positive lead coming off and here's the negative lead coming off so that's this is 12 volts here 12 volts here but all together is 24 volts and then it comes out uh, these two wires a positive and negative and that goes to the charge controller. Here is the charge controller. Got it hooked up. And I don't know if you can see it. You got 29.4 coming in at 7 amps. The sun is just barely coming over the, uh, the panels right now. So we're not getting full, uh, full power. But it's pumping in 12.5 at 1.8. Which is at the bottom, what does it say, a couple 20 watts or something like that? Alright, anyway. So the wires come in to the, uh, to the breaker box. This is a four, or a two uh, breaker panel, or two breaker box. I got to split breakers, so I've got four circuits. Uh, I've got panel A going in one, panel B. And I'm just putting together panel C. Um, and then the fourth one I'm going to reserve for the generator. I'm going to hook up the generator to that somehow. So uh, you got two panels coming in together right now. Going to this positive here. And then a negative bus bar here. Coming out. And then into the charge controller. From there it goes out to the battery bank. I've got five uh, deep cycle batteries seems to be working all right I would like to get a, cu a couple of more I have two more battery cores probably next uh, month I'll get two more batteries um, we're down to 12.7 volts right now after a weekend of running the uh, the ice maker ice maker runs draws a couple hundred watts but that's basically the only thing I've had running all day a uh, couple of LED li LED lights. I've got some LED lights here in the container, and also uh, some LED Christmas lights around the patio area out where the kitchen is and stuff. So and then we got the pump right here. This is the RV pump, and then this is, is a recirculation pump. Uh, it, it was pretty much overcast all weekend, so I really didn't have to recirculate the water through the solar heater because uh, it never water never really got that hot up in a solar water heater. So I ran two fires in the um, rocket stove water heater, and right now the water of the temperature is 106 degrees, so it's plenty warm water. Uh, okay, so after the uh, batteries goes into the inverter. I got a 1500 watt inverter. 
which is enough to power the ice maker. I brought, I have two ice makers. It wouldn't run two of them. Um, I think because it's not a pure sine wave inverter. When I take the other one home, it works fine. But out here on this inverter, it just doesn't work. And then from uh, the inverter, I plug into this uh, trip light setup. There's a charger for my camera. Uh, that's the wire for the light I'm using right now. This wire goes for the to a switch up near the big front door of the container for the lights. When you walk in the front door, there's a switch right there. You can kick them on. Uh, phone charger. And then this goes to the ice maker. And uh, the lights that go around the, um, you know, the kitchen area. Alright, let me show you one more thing on the uh, light switch. This is the light switch for the container. When you walk in, you flip the switch. And you get... Right now I have the LED uh, Christmas lights plugged in. Alright. Um, I could swap it out and use these big flood lights here. Simply by unplugging this wire, which goes to the Christmas lights, and plug it in this one, which goes to the rack or the track, rather. Um, got the TV out here, also with um, the uh, satellite box. I haven't been able to get that to work, though. If someone knows anything about that, feel free to let me know what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, that's Bob from Bobtown. Part 2, the solar uh, panel project. Thank you.